time and time again. It has been shown that if you give a J6er a microphone into a protest, they will dig a hole. While multiple people tonight plan to talk about Jake Lang, one brought up Taylor Taranto, and I feel like it's worth mentioning in the video because soon we're also going to cover what's behind me. The J6 inmate says they didn't appreciate problems at the Freedom Corner protest caused by Taylor Taranto that affected Mama Mickey. Said they don't support Taylor having weapons in his van, which is what the document behind me is about, and we will get to that, but I just feel like this call was important because it gives us some backstory. They start off by saying that when Taylor got into the J6 pod, the J6ers had a town hall. Two town halls, in fact. They say Taylor was locked in his cell because the guards knew he wasn't welcome. They say he went to a legal visit or something and came back and was not locked up in his cell. The inmates told the guards to lock him in his cell, which didn't happen. The inmates had a town hall in one of the TV rooms about this. About 20 of the J6ers were involved. It was a peaceful town hall without Taylor Taranto present. They then went to the other room, the other TV room, which contained Taylor Taranto, said it was going to be peaceful. They had a flash drive they were going to show him. They were going to play a video from that flash drive and ask him to explain himself because he has crazy conspiracy theories. They were going to confront him, though, in a peaceful manner. I do want to take a moment and ask, why are inmates in jail walking around with a flash drive and what did it contain? Is this the video of Taylor Taranto talking about Ashley Babbitt at the school with DOA? Why do they have this? Where did they get it? How does this involve their cases that it would make sense for them to have it? I really don't know. Doesn't seem to make sense to me. Also, they're now saying that there were 20 of them so the guards just let 20 of them go in a big block towards the one guy the guards know that they don't like? Now they say Jake Lang at the second town hall started yelling at them, which enraged some of the J6 town hall group. Jake Lang's the one who created the problem, and this evolved into a small situation. There were about 20 guys. These guys, we are good men. We aren't going to let anybody get seriously hurt. They're doing the same defense they use for J6, which we know how that went and how that goes. But he says what happened is it spun out of control with just a couple people. The guards come and everyone was fine and a dozen were sent to the hole. Jake Lang went to the prisoner's record to denounce those 20. They say Jake Lang keeps lying about Roseanne Boylan, lying about his status in the pod and he's not a leader. The inmate says they can't stand how Jake Lang portrayed himself. The inmate said it is disgusting and cringeworthy to hear lies about Roseanne Boylan. Well, good thing he's not speaking to a group that allows her to be lies about Roseanne Boylan, because that would be really cringe and disgusting, wouldn't it? There's more. They have more inmates, but I wanted to mention this part about Taylor Taranto, because I also wanted to make a video on this. I just haven't. I haven't gotten around to it. I'm not going to go through the full document. It is basically another motion in support to suppress the evidence found in the van. The government violated Mr. Taranto's constitutional rights repeatedly when it searched his vehicle. First, the government violated Mr. Taranto's constitutional rights when MPD officers sniff searched Mr. Taranto's vehicle without probable cause. Contrary to the government's assertion, a sniff search by an explosive or firearm detecting dog is a search under the Fourth Amendment. The officers lacked probable cause to conduct these sniff searches because the government has failed to prove collective knowledge applies. Even if the court determines the collective knowledge doctrine applies, the live streams they rely upon do not provide probable cause to believe there was a bomb in the vehicle, and even if there was probable cause at one point, it was dissipated when the bomb-sniffing dog failed to alert to Mr. Taranto's vehicle. So that's, there's a lot to it, they go through it. But that's basically the core of it. The core is, it's multi-level, really. This is why I said that I could, people keep saying that, you know, of course this isn't going to get thrown out. I could see it. So the argument is that the search is a violation of the Fourth Amendment at all. They do not have probable cause for the first search. 
even because they don't have collective knowledge. Even if they have collective knowledge doctrine and it applies, the live streams do not provide probable cause to believe there's a bomb in the vehicle. Even if they do have that collective knowledge, when the bomb sniffing dog didn't hit, there wasn't probable cause for the other dog to come up. And there are still call outs about the dog's training and the government's problems with providing uh, details about their training and all this stuff. There's um, arguments the sniff search is violated uh, Fourth Amendment. Sniff search conducted by Trek was a Fourth Amendment search and with evidence. The sniff search was not supported by probable cause. Collective knowledge does not apply. I'll have this in the pinned comment if you want it. Live streams do not provide probable cause to sniff search Mr. Trent's vehicle. Even if there was probable cause to search the vehicle initially, it dissipated when the bomb sniffing dog Harley did not alert the vehicle. The warrantless search of inside Mr. Taranto's vehicle also violated the Fourth Amendment. Uh, the search of the inside of Mr. Taranto's vehicle pursuant to a warrant violated the Fourth Amendment too. And there's a conclusion that it was a warrantless search that wasn't legal. And yeah, so I know I'm skipping this one pretty heavily, but I previously went through the initial argument. This is basically in support of the document I've already went through and a response to the government where the government basically said, I don't know if I actually, I don't know if I did a video on the government's response. I meant to, I had it in a tab. Maybe I accidentally closed it and never made the video. Um, but essentially this is the, I think probably the final response before they go to actual courtroom about this. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, I've been needing to make a video on this. This came out on the 19th, as you know, it's been a few days. Um, but yeah, the corner just randomly had that J6er start talking about Taylor Taranto. Um, if I were them, I probably wouldn't be doing that because I still have questions about that. So why did they have footage of, is it footage of Freedom Corner? Is it footage of the days that Taylor Taranto was doing his own protest separate from Freedom Corner? Why do they have this footage? Why is it on a flash drive? Why do they have access to this flash drive? Why are they going to get it? Why are they thinking that they should be taking physical action on behalf of Mickey outside the jail? Um, would they feel this way if she was had not been allowed to have a physical presence outside the jail? What happened with Taylor in the jail has always raised a bunch of questions for me and I don't think they've ever been answered and I don't know if they ever will be answered. I think an argument could be made that if the corner protest was not there and if they hadn't felt a need to protect them because that corner gives them a protest outlet that nothing would have happened with Taylor. But of course, if the people in the jail end up getting increased trouble for that, which we do know that at least once, was it a set? I think it was a sentencing. Yeah, it was definitely a sentencing mentioned them being involved with what happened to Taylor Taranto. It was used in sentencing by the government. But it, it's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, that these people thought that they should do this to protect Mickey's honor. And then the person who gets punished, the person who gets in solitary is Taylor? Uh, 